a special dog named Faith. But she has bright eyes, alert ears, a wagging tail. She's a great dog with a wonderful personality. What people usually notice about Faith is the fact that she only has two hind legs and she walks upright like a human. When people see Faith, everything stops. Faith has actually gained celebrity status because she's the only two-legged dog in the world that we know of that walks bipedally. I became Faith's mom January the 21st of 2003. My son's friend called Ruben and asked him to come over and help him retrieve some dead puppies. Ruben noticed there was another dog. He reached under that dog and he found Faith. She was dirty and we could tell she needed help and that was when I noticed that she didn't have any legs in the front. Faith began walking only after she began hopping. We taught her how to hop using peanut butter on the end of a spoon. If she would hop, we'd let her pass some of the peanut butter, and she had no idea that she wasn't a normal dog after that. Faith is a part of our family. Faith sleeps right beside me every night. Every morning we wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning to get ready to go to school. She'll even come to the breakfast table to steal a treat for herself. I'm a professor of English and a high school teacher, and sometimes I like to take Faith to school with me. Uh, the kids love her. Students think that she's the most incredible, unique dog they've ever seen. After a hard day's work, Faith loves to go to the dog park and meet up with some of her four-legged friends. She always puts a smile on their face. When I uh, take Faith for a walk, she walks right beside me. Everyone who sees Faith, they can't take their eyes off her. They have to see more. And she's got to come here, Faith. You're such a sweetheart. I love you. Faith is a very happy dog. Look at her face. Look at that tongue wagging. She loves us, and we love her, and she gives back more love, I think, than any other dog I've ever owned. Faith may only have two legs, but she has a big heart. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Jude and Faith to the show. She's gorgeous. Thank Talk. You. Where did you find her? Well, we didn't actually find her. My son's friend's dog had puppies, and Reuben rescued her from her own mother. Initially, when you first got her, you took her to the vet, of course. Yes. <laughs> and the vet said to you what? Well, it wasn't so much what the vet was saying. Everybody else was telling us to put her down. They were mm -hmm. saying there's no way that you can actually train her to walk upright or to get off her chest and her, her chin. For sure. and, and talk about that for a second, because if she had continued to just lay on her mm -hmm. chest and chin, what would happen? There, it would rub an abscess. That much the doctor did tell us. It would rub an abscess in her chin where she you know, tries to get up and on her chest. Mm -hmm. This way, being bipedal, she's actually able to walk. And the, the number one question people ask, well, what about her hips? Are her hips okay? But she has been checked out and her hips are fine. But, okay, so now how did you teach her to do this? Because this is not natural <laughs> for a dog. You no, know, it's not. And, right. and I, I would have to say supernaturally, we prayed about it a lot. And of course, we did work with her. Mm -hmm. But we actually taught her to hop. It was one of our other dogs who taught her to run. Well, you, you talked about how you did this in the wintertime and in snow. Explain was, this for a second. It had snowed, and we knew that it was going to be cold if we put the dog out Side, she had a choice to make. She could freeze or she could hop. So, <laughs> but I wouldn't have left her there. No, I know. Of course. So you put her out in the snow. Put and then she the snow. also used the snow to kind of balance well, we herself. Used, a little we bit, don't huh? like to tell people the story, but we did use actually a skateboard at one point, and she mm -hmm. fell off a few too many times. And so we tried strapping it to her. We tried all kinds of different ways to show her, you know, movement, show her what it meant to move, mm -hmm. what the benefits of movement would be. So when we did put her out in the snow, and she did have to stand up like a rabbit, we were able to get her to hop one time and reward her, hop two times and reward her. And she realized that, hey, if I hop, I'm going to get rewarded. Gotcha. So. And then what after the hopping, though, what kind of, this, 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 like storm wall, like, yo, what's up? What's up? How you doing? How do you, oh, what's it? Yeah. Like, yo, what's up? Tell us about the book. Tell us about the book. I did have an opportunity to write a book because so many people wanted to hear her story. And uh -huh. I, I know that to tell a story, you have to tell the story before the story in right. order for it to be interesting. So <laughs> she's going to check things out. That's cool. So the, uh, the story itself is about our family, what we went through just prior to getting faith in our lives. And mm -hmm. it, was, it was tragic, and there was a divorce, and there was a kidnapping, and there was some torture involved. And, and so we had to get through that before we could actually train faith to be a natural dog or a normal dog. Mm -hmm. After we were a family again, we were presented with this gift, our dog, and we had to use our faith, we had to use um, our community, we had to use our church, we had to use anyone who was willing to help us. So, so. wonderful. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what? 
the most unique dog I, I, I've ever seen. And so, what's the name of the book? So we make sure people go out to the bookstore. It's called again. With a Little Faith. With a Little Faith. It's in a bookstore near you right now. Get up on Amazon.com and get a copy of it. I Absolutely appreciate incredible. that. Thank no, you thank so much. Thank you. We'll be back right after this. I went out in my pajamas barefoot.